Here, we have an incredibly popular GCSE question. To do with graphs, I'm basically trying to cover all bases here. Usually they do four graphs, but I'm gonna do six, isn't it? Because you guys deserve an extension question. It says here are six graphs. The graphs represent six different types of function f, match each description of the function in the table to the letter on its graph, uh, of its graph. Now there's some graphs here, guys, that you just need to know. For example, this is the one over x graph. This is the sine graph. Maybe the other ones, not so much, but I'm gonna teach you guys the thinking process behind things because maybe they'll give you a random graph and you have to kind of use the process of elimination here to figure out which one it is. So let's go one by one. It says f of x is inversely proportional to x. That just means as one value goes up, the other is getting smaller. So it's easy, easier for us to think about as x gets larger, the y value should be getting smaller. So we're gonna be moving this way. The y value should be getting going down. Well, that can only be this one. As x continues to get larger, you can see the y values are coming down. Yeah, so as we go along this curve, you can see the y values are coming down. That is for sure graph B. f of x is a wave function. Now we need to know what the wave functions are. Yes, yeah, just doing a wave. Wave meaning up, down, up, down, up, down. Which one is going up, down, up, down, up, down is this one. In particular, this is the sine graph because it starts at the origin. The cos graph will start at one. So this is graph A. f of x is an exponential function. Exponential meaning exponential growth, meaning growing very fast. Which graph is growing up very fast? Well, we've gotten rid of A and B. As you look at the other ones, which one looks to be growing very fast? Well, it looks to be between these two. Okay, this one's not growing very fast, it's actually getting smaller. Which one of these is implying it is growing very quickly? Well, one key difference we need to make is that with the exponential function, things get exponentially small as well. But it can either be positive or negative, okay? So either we're looking at the positive exponential function, which is always above the x-axis. One side has to be getting really large very quickly, and one needs to be getting very small very quickly. Small, when you think of small, you think of very close to zero, yeah? So which value is getting very close to zero? That's what this is doing. This one's going down to negative infinity, okay? And if you look on, it says f of x is tan x. You guys need to know what the tan x graph looks like. The tan x graph looks like this, and we've only put part of it, but it does keep doing that forever. So graph E is clearly the tan x function, which you need to know what it looks like, which must mean then that graph D is your exponential function. Okay, so that's done, and that's done. The next one is directly proportional to root x. Now, root x, we all know, is the inverse of x squared. So it's kind of, it's not really doing the opposite. It's doing, I guess you could say it's doing the inverse behavior of x squared. Let me just explain to you graphically what's going on. So when we do functions and we find the inverse function, we're swapping the y and x, yeah? This is known as a reflection. You're just switching the y's and the x, yeah? So if you take the coordinate one, two, it's becoming two, one, okay? One, five is becoming five, one. This is just a reflection in the line y equals x, okay? So if I was to draw the x squared graph that looks like this and drew the line y equals x that looks like this, we only look at the positive side for reasons that you learn in year 13. You're reflecting this, which I can do a bit more of an extreme curvature here, like that, say that's your x squared graph. The root x graph is gonna be a reflection in this line, okay? Now the x squared graph is pointing up. So upon reflection, that is gonna look like this. It's gonna come out like that, okay? So if you're pointing up and you're reflecting, it's gonna to point to the right which is what this one's gonna be, that's graph C. Now at GCSE, they actually love doing the root x graph. Guys, just remember the root x graph, look at its shape. Finally, this is gonna be graph F. How can you establish this? It's actually very simple. F of x is inversely proportional to x squared, so it's very similar 
to this one. It should have this kind of shape. However, why is graph f x squared? Well, it's very simple. I can uh, show you very quickly. Inverse means as x gets bigger, the y values are getting smaller, right? Well, we know that. That's doing the same behavior over here. But the only thing is, with this graph, with the negatives, when you do 1 over that, obviously you're going to get negative y values. But because this is x squared, x squared is always positive, right? So when you do 1 over an always positive number, the y values also need to be positive. So this is just the same as this, but positive. So we've reflected it up. So this and this are the same, just with this side being reflected up essentially. Not exactly, there's some scale factor involved there, but you can think in a nutshell, it's just being reflected because those negative values, when you square them, they just become positive, okay? And that's it. So, uh, bad e kuf is the answer. So guys, going through some key graphs, some extra graphs you guys need to know is obviously the cos graph, looks like that. And you need to know a circle, Looks like that, x squared plus y squared is r squared. You obviously need to know lines. You need to know quadratics. You need to know cubics, all right? Those are the different graphs that you need to be super familiar with. Uh, I don't think I've missed any there. If I did, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, if you learned something today, guys, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more maths content. And if you're interested in my GCSE maths courses, uh, more details in the description and feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback from my community. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.